Hello there, welcome to Genesis Models. My name is Bobby Waldron, and in this video, we're going to be taking a inbox review of Trumpeter's 148 scale D Havilland C Hornet NF21. Uh, notice that this is in 148 scale. We've got some um, nice box art going on on the front, um, and the usual stuff going around on the sides. So let's just open this up and take a look inside. Um, now, first off, the packaging is actually rather good with this kit. Because um, I'll start off actually with our canopy, and as you can see, the packaging we've got, you know, it was in a plastic bag as well as wrapped up. Whoops. Um, now, first impressions is the canopy is really crystal clear, clean. We've got no scratches, no marks, we've got no cobweb effects or really any problems. I mean, these this canopy is rather, rather good. I mean, it doesn't get any better than, than that, really. Um, moving along to the decals. All right, with our decals, um, there's not many, but I mean, what we do have, they do have sort of like a, um, a sort of glossy sort of finish. They do feel sort of like they are on the bit of a thin side. They um, I've got a feeling they'll go down pretty good, um, nicely in registry, the colours are good. We do have um, our instrument display panel just there which really does um, look well detailed and from what I've seen of the instrument display panel in plastic, this will go really really well with it. So I, I do like that um, decaled instrument display panel there. Um, move along with a few first parts. Um, here we have our instrument display panel, which I have just been talking about. Right, hopefully as you can see, I mean, there's no detail inside um, our dials, but that's where the decals come in. But apart from that, I mean, it is looking very crisp and tidy um, anyway. Here is our um, cockpit sort of tub. We've got a bit of detail going in there, but there are lots of pieces that do, I do believe, here we go, do sort of connect inside there and give us those extra bit of details, which is um, looking rather nice and tidy. Um, moving along, got two identical sprues here. Um, one is, um, we've got propellers on here. Uh, and wheels and everything which are looking um, you know really good they are they, the whole kit just seems to be very crisp and tidy now that is probably down to um, the fact that this kit was released in 2014 so this is only like about you know just over a year old um, this tooling so you know you, it's gonna be um, quite nice and tidy not much in the sense of flash um, and they seem to have sort of, you know, looked into like the ejector pin marks side of things because they ain't really any problems with the ejector pin marks. Moving along, we have our fuselage section, so we can have a look at uh, some surface detail now. Um, and hopefully, hopefully, what you can see, let's get you in focus nicely. Uh, hopefully, what you can see is, you know, we've got some nice, you know, pretty good, um, crisp. Um, consistent uh, recess panel lines. Um, I do like them. They do seem to be quite neat and tidy um, on this sprue as well. We've got some more uh, internal detail, bulkheads, and all sorts of cool stuff. But yeah, um, but you know, there doesn't seem to be you know a heavy lot of detail. You know what kind of recess panel lines you do get are looking rather good um, but not much of it I mean there's no recess rivets on this kit either um, here we have like the wing section uh, which hopefully you know you can sort of see how we do have you know that detail there and it is looking good just mm, it could do with a little bit more um, if you ask me in some rivet detail so you might want to be going off and doing a bit of scratch building you know doing a f maybe a few more um recess panel lines yourself at least get some more rivets in there just to liven it up a little bit more so coming down to our last sprue here we have like our engine section which um you know 
it's the same sort of surface detail going on in there. Uh, we do have eject pin marks inside, but I do believe we sort of build up pieces to cover all this anyway. So you're not gonna you're not gonna really see that. Uh, we've got some flaps as well, which is is rather nice how they have um, you know put these little tabs around it, and those are your eject pin marks. So we don't get any eject pin marks inside our flaps there which is uh, the way you want to see things being tooled these days um, so we don't get all those nasty eject pin marks a uh, bit of landing gear here um, yeah I mean looking rather good rather crisp and being a nice new tool yeah we haven't got to worry about um, loads of flash or anything like that so um, that is all the pieces moving along to our last bit here which is the instructions right so with the instructions if i just get them the right way first um you know they are your typical trumpeter instructions now this kit isn't hard whatsoever i mean you know typical um world war ii style um build here you know you do your copy bring your two fuselage halves together bring your two um uh, wing sections halves together and you stick that to the fuselage it really is a nice simple build like that however you do have the nice option with this kit to um, have your wings in the um, folded position so you can sort of have that option of folded or unfolded with your, your wings which is rather rather cool and that is basically it for the instructions not hard at all so all in all um i i think i've read about that it isn't the best of um fits um here and there not saying it's absolutely dog awful just it's not like a perfectly fitting kit you might have a little issue here and there but apart from that it's not bad i mean the price as of hanance um right now it's around about 26 pounds so the price isn't actually that bad for a nice 148 scale kit um, yeah I do like it I mean it does need that little bit of extra attention with the service detail but apart from that uh, yeah it's definitely a well recommended kit here at Genesis Models so hopefully you've enjoyed our inbox review here so until next time my name is Bob Waldron this is Genesis Models and I hope you've enjoyed <laughs> Thank you.